Hello, it's Elizabeth here. NLP language, deletion, distortion and generalisation. We're following on from deep structure and surface structure, which was the last video. And this is relevant for NLP practitioners, people who are thinking of becoming NLP practitioners, or people who just want to study NLP more deeply. Now, deletion, distortion, and generalization are three ways in which we filter our experience of reality. So if you think of reality as being out here and coming into us, if we were just to receive all that information and do nothing to filter it, it is likely that we would be overwhelmed. And in fact, being overwhelmed with data is probably an experience that you have had in your life. One of the ways that we save ourselves from that overwhelm is through using deletion, distortion, and generalization. So, thinking about deletion first, what happens with deletion is in a conversation between a couple of people, you might hear something like, well, that's typical of him. So the sentence goes something like, that's typical of him. And uh, if you have really bad luck, you can have a whole conversation about, for 10 or 15 minutes while you both agree about that <clears throat> until you suddenly realize that you're talking about different people because you have been unspecific about who is him and also what is the that. So that's typical of him. If we look at that, it's what is the that and who is he? If we don't understand what the that is and we don't understand who he is, then too much of the sentence is deleted for us to be able to understand it. And deletion leaves us often with that weird feeling of just not quite understanding something is missing. You know, there's a jigsaw piece that isn't here. That's what deletion is like. The second way in which we filter our experience is distortion. Uh, distortion has a completely different feeling from deletion. Distortion is twisted. It's like, oh, what are they saying to me? You know, do you know that feeling? They're um, making connections that aren't really connections and I don't think that this thing does equal that thing but this person is saying that it does and it's confusing, it's distorting. At its worst, it can be quite disturbing. So an example of distortion is something like, I knew she didn't like me. It's like, <laughs> okay, how do you know that? If you say, how do you know that? It recovers the information that might be the sensory information that leads to that conclusion, I knew she didn't like me. But it's a conclusion, it's not a fact. I knew she didn't like me. That's made up in somebody's head, I knew she didn't like me. So it's something that needs questioning if we want to recover what they truly mean. The third category is generalization. So with generalization, <clears throat> the feeling that you'll get with generalization is feels very blah. Somehow or other, there are no counter examples here. We, we're all agreeing and we're all getting on and we're in the coffee shop and we're down the pub and we're chattering, and we're all agreeing with each other, but it feels very, very general and there is no counter example. So typical examples of generalizations would be something like, nobody likes me. Or equally bad, everybody likes me. Because of course, none, neither of those things are true. It's just not possible for nobody to like you, and nor is it possible for everybody to like you. So we're looking for, we need something more distinctive in here. What can we find to make this more real? So those are my very quick examples of deletion, distortion, and generalization. And in future videos, I'm going to be looking at this in more detail 
piece by piece so that you can also consider the right questions to ask people in order to recover information. But for now, for this video, my tip is just start to notice these things and start with the feeling. Do I feel like there's something missing here? Do I feel like things are twisted up? Or do I feel like it's all just too blah? And you'll be spotting examples of deletion, distortion and generalisation.